So other things that do not involve musculature but involve glands where the neurons also synapse. So if we can relax the secretions from the axons, we can then relax the secretions from these glands. So there is a, a secretory, hypersecretory disorder called hyperlacrimation, meaning uh, people will tend to tear up for no particular reason. And it's nice to be able to treat that. How about hypersalivation? Now it's much cuter show, to show a dog drooling uh, than to show a human drooling, but sometimes this is a very serious issue. So uh, injections will be made to the salivary glands with Botox to slow down some of the salivation. And also then there's also uh, what's called hyperhidrosis, which basically means a lot of sweating. You get sweaty palms, sweaty feet, uh, way sweaty underarms. Hey fellow, you're not going to make the sale or get the girl with an armpit like that, are you? So um, it's nice to be able to treat these disorders. I shouldn't joke about it because it is a serious issue. So for cosmetic uses, we are very well aware of this. Is really since about 2000 uh, been used widely. Um, a lot of people forget that this is still a toxin that you're injecting, so you do need to be careful. But some other things uh, it's used for besides those worry lines between your eyebrows um, is to reduce this gummy smile. And what they do, of course, is to relax the muscles here and here so it's not pulling up on that upper lip quite as much. Now, um, you need to remember that whatever you do with Botox, it's only going to last between three and ten months. It really depends on your practitioner, where it's been applied, um, and the dose you received. Here, of course, we can see the minimization of wrinkles around her eye, uh, thanks to the relaxation of the muscles here. And over time, the wrinkles might fade away because you're not repeatedly using them. Of course, you lose a little facial expression. Now, this young lady had um, some Botox used to reshape her face because these muscles were very tight and creating uh, the more square jaw, and I guess she didn't like that very much. And um, so after a uh, number of years of using this, what happens is that uh, disuse of the muscle, because it's not receiving signal to contract, will cause the muscle to atrophy or to shrink. And so she's been able to re-sculpt her face altogether by using Botox. Um, this is in an older woman who, this muscle here is called the platysma, and people will get these vertical bands after a while, and so you can see the reduction of some of these bands using Botox. Uh, in this case, her dimpled chin has gone away a bit uh, thanks to the use of Botox. Now the last one is not the face, it's more a very unusual use for Botox, but uh, for saggy breasts, and it only works for small saggy breasts and not big saggy breasts, but uh, I personally would say, hey, how about you wear a bra and you look much better. Um, and I do just want to remind you that using Botox, we can't forget we are dealing with a very strong substance, so you have to be able to trust your physician or your cosmetologist or whoever is administering this and not just to use this um, uh, flippantly um, to get the results you want. You really want to go to someone trusted because we do have side effects, which can include this drooping of the eyelid if you get too much. Uh, that's called ptosis. Um, no, nausea is a p potential side effect, and as you can imagine, receiving Botox uh, is the botulism toxin, which really creates uh, gastrointestinal distress. You can end up with face pain and tooth pain. You can end up with um, high blood pressure. Um, an allergic reaction is possible. Now this picture is of a girl who had an allergic reaction to her hair color, not to botulism toxin, but I do know someone who has had that happen. Uh, indigestion is another possibility and uh, in more severe cases you can end up with extreme muscle relaxation. Yes, I wish I could say the side effect was to become something cute and fluffy that everyone would just want to go, oh, but really this is supposed to represent muscle relaxation to the extreme. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial about the mechanisms of action of Botox in the human body and also appreciate how scientists work very hard to understand the world around us in order to capitalize upon that information and create new technologies that increase our health and well-being in day-to-day -day life.